say is deep. You'll have a chance at this one if you can handle it. Got away from one, but the 49ers do a good job in coverage. Flag on the play. Plummer was down to make the stop. That was a 46-yard punt against the wind, so that's a pretty good effort. And the flag was back on the original line of scrimmage. Usually when it's in that area, it will be against the punting team. I would say that the Eagles would make them punt it again. You would think so. Right now, it looks as if the rain has just about stopped, but it's still very windy. I would take that 10 yards. Only, on the kicking team, number 65, prior to the kick, 10-yard penalty, repeat fourth down. Well, they could got to take this penalty. Yeah, you do, because one, one, you put them back 10 yards, make them punt it again into the wind, and, and you don't, you know, you like to have their punter punting into the wind, but, you know, being a punt returner is a little shaky on this deal, too. I mean, that's the thing you worry about. At least you had the ball. Now you're giving them the ball back, and you have to be able to catch that punt. Oftentimes, when a punter punts against the wind like this, especially after a punt penalty, he overkicks. Yeah, he swings too hard. Yeah. It's like golf. When yeah. you're trying to hit the ball into the wind, you swing too hard. Not this time. This is a good kick. That's a heck of a kick. Handled cleanly by Say up to the 38. So the Eagles take over in pretty good shape. 54-yard punt, 14-yard return. Zordich in a comfortable pose. Here's clear. Jacksonville plays at Denver, 4 o'clock on Saturday. Pittsburgh at New England. And in the NFC, Dallas goes to Carolina late on Sunday. And the winner of this game goes to Green Bay early on Saturday. Things are starting to clear. Not the weather. The playoff picture. First down, and this is Ricky Water. Woodall made the stop and right now for a McDonald's game break. Let's return to James Brown at our Fox Television Center. Pat, it was a rematch of last year's AFC Championship game in name only. Pittsburgh ran roughshod over Indianapolis and as you indicated, New England will now host its first playoff game that against Pittsburgh first since 78. Back to Pat and John. Second and four at Three Com Park. The Eagles have the ball. Their own 43. That's Ricky Waters. And he doesn't get anything. A little conversation, maybe. Well, he's going to have a lot of conversation because I think that Ken Norton Jr. and Gary Plummer are, are two big conversationalists on defense, and Ricky Waters is a big conversationalist on offense. So when the three of them get together, which is going to be just about any time Ricky Waters runs with a ball, there's going to be a conversation to follow. They will critique each other's efforts. Three wide receivers, third down. Here's Detmer back to throw it. Ball is deflected at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, that's the thing with Ty Detmer. You know, they, you know, they always talk about his height. You know, he's only six foot, but any quarterback has to find a lane. And Ty Detmer was trying to find a lane. And watch him here. He's looking to the left. He wants to throw the ball to the left. And watch Dana Stubberfield. He just gets his hands up there, as does Tim McDonald. McDonald. Stubberfield gets his hand up there, and then McDonald is right inside him. And I think it hit Stubberfield's right hand and McDonald's left hand. Still double dips. Hutton's punt. Bounces way in front of the 49er deep man, and the ball rolls dead at the 19, where San Francisco will take over. We have five minutes and four seconds left to play in the first quarter. No score as yet. That doesn't really look like the Golden Gate today, does it? Rain, you can see, still pelts down. Somebody in the scoreboard. See, the Eagles are using that three-man line, three linebackers, five defensive backs. Kirby gets the delay. Gains about four or five. 
Clock running with 4.50 left to play in the first quarter. Uh, see, here's a three-man line. One, two, those are the three linemen. Then you go, the, here's one, two, these are the three linebackers, and this is the first of the five defensive backs. So you got one, two, three, four, and five defensive backs. That's the nickel defense. And whenever the 49ers see that, a lot of people do this to them. A lot of people have been successful doing it. They try and run the ball at them to get them out of this defense. They got five yards on that first carry. They'll run it again with Kirby. And he gets a couple this time. See, now, if I were playing the 49ers, I would rather see him run all day. The 49ers, I don't care if they have a running game where they say Kirby's better, they got a little better running game, whatever. They aren't going to beat you running the ball. I mean, yep. the way they're going to beat you, Steve Young is going to beat you throwing the ball to Jerry Rice. Of the six teams that came out of the NFC that came into the playoffs, who had the most efficient running attack? The 49ers. Yeah. But they're not going to beat you that way. No, 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 they aren't. And a big part of their running attack, like I said before, is Steve Young. That part of the running attack will beat you. Young back to throw. Rice is shy of the first down. James Willis. That was the thing that Ray Rhodes was talking about last night. He says, Jerry Rice is going to catch his ball. And that's what he said. He's going to catch his passes. But the thing we have to do is when we catch, when he catches it, we have to come in and really let him have it. And that's what James Willis did there first. Mike Zornich did secondly. They know that he's going to run this cross and stuff. He's going to run this short stuff in here. But when he does, boom, you got to tackle him right there and not let him have a lot of run after the catch yardage. More and more, that's the word around the league. Let him catch him. He's going to catch him. But tackle him after he catches Thompson's kick sails high and short this time. They did well to field it. The Eagles take over at their own 35, 38-yard punt. By the way, that catch by Rice was his 20th straight playoff game with a catch. Yeah, but it didn't do any good. No. I mean, that's, that's one of the things. If you say, is there anything wrong with this West Coast offense or, you know, whatever they call this offense, it's to me that they have to throw the ball too short and too often on third down, they complete passes and then have to punt. And I think that's one of the ugliest sights in all of football is a completed third down pass followed by a punt. First and ten, Philadelphia. Garner is the deep back. And the handoff is made by Detmer to Charlie Garner, who rolls and gets it to Johnson, and Johnson gets an eagle first down. That was a heck of a fake by Ty yeah. Detmer. That was, that, that was the old bootleg where he faked to the left and bootlegged out to the right. That's a, that's a 49er play. Of course, a lot of this eagle offense is the same as the... As a 49ers, John Gruden, the offensive coordinator of the Eagles, was at one time with the 49ers, and he was also at one time with the Green Bay Packers. And But Ty Detmer really helped himself on that by having a great fake before he went into his bootleg. First and ten, four wide receivers this time for the Eagles as they continue to try to spread them out. The handoff is to Garner. He gets to the line of scrimmage, maybe, and that's about it. Yeah, I think the 49ers are figuring that out now, Pat, that the that the Eagles are doing a lot of that four wide receivers, as you say, to spread them out, and then they're running the ball. So what the 49ers are starting to do is they're starting to line those linebackers outside the box, and then on the snap of the ball, bringing them Ken Norton and Lee Woodall, bringing them in to the box. Because the Eagles have gone to that well a few too many times. You know, first down, four wide receivers, and then run the draw. Less than two minutes left in the first quarter. No score. There's a box right there, and you see five guys in there oh. now. Detmer has it deflected again. Sort of a sidearm delivery, and he's just not as John Madden was talking about earlier. Not tall enough to throw it sidearm. No, oh, and, 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 he, and he really has to find his... His, his passing lanes, and this one here, I just think he throws it too low. Watch it, he's looking for a passing lane. I mean, that ball hits yep. Bryant Young right in the face. Yep. And so, so that, I mean, you gotta find a lane between those guys, but you have to get the ball up a little, too. Like he said one time, that's what his dad told him, is to get that elbow up, or he wouldn't let him play catch as a kid. He didn't get the elbow up that time. Third and 10, Detmer's back to throw it. Again, the rush. With people hanging on, Detmer got rid of it. Mark Say was the intended target. 
But they had him by the shirt. Yeah, watch Bryant Young here. Again, we talked about him, one of the best defensive players in all of football. Just get the pressure straight up the middle. He was a guy who made that move, and then boom, he's coming right up, right at Ty Detmer. And then Chris Dolman was able to get in there from the backside, too. But the guy that made that pass rush was Bryant Young. Hutton to punt it. Herbie is deep. No flag. Herbie says get away from it. It was a short kick. It goes out of bounds at about the 25. And the 49ers will take over. Don't forget, we're winding down. Some of the teams have already wound down. They're looking for coaches. But the playoffs continue. Next week, we'll be in Carolina. As Dallas goes to Carolina. That has to be some atmosphere in Carolina. Yeah, I can't wait to get down there to see that one. I mean, we haven't been there all year. And, and to get there for, for a playoff game, that's a, that's a good time to be your first time. And it looks like the Cowboys are back. You got to throw it. To Terrell Owens. Brian Dawkins made the stop on Owens. Owens really starting to come into his own. Well, you know, he's so he's so big and so strong and so tough to tackle, but Dawkins zeroes in on him and gets a pretty good shot on him and gets him going backwards. That's the thing with, with Terrell Owens. He's not only a, a big target for Steve Young, but after he catches the ball, he's awfully strong and tough to tackle, but Brian Dawkins gets him and makes a picture-perfect tackle. I mean, he got him right where there was nothing that Owens could do about it. That, that uh, technique was like you draw it up, like you teach it. That used to be the old tackling drill. You used to drill doing that. Two tight ends. Young back to throw again. <laughs> William Floyd makes the catch, gets close to a first down. He may have it. James Willis made the stop. <laughs> The fans are going crazy. We got a first down. <laughs> when they, I've always felt, Pat, that you could really tell the, the difference as you get into the playoffs. That you have a, a preseason level of tackling, a regular season level of tackling, and a postseason level of tackling. And what we're seeing now is a postseason level of tackling. You know, I think it goes along with all phases of the game. I think. The officiating improves as the playoffs arrive. Yeah, well, you know, I've always thought that that the officials let the players play. I yeah. mean, they don't they don't want to be part of this game and 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 the finality of it. I mean, one of these teams is going to be playing next week. One of these teams at the end of the day is going to be finished for the year. And you know, it has been. I mean, there have been teams that have gone from the wild card and all the way to the Super Bowl. Not many. Not many. The Oakland Raiders once went from the, are the only team that ever went from the wild card game and won a Super Bowl. They beat the Eagles. But it is possible. I mean, it can be done. It's a tough way to go, the yeah. way these teams are going. It is tough. First down, San Francisco. And here's Steve Young. Escapes. Gets it to Kirby. Kirby's got some room. Works across midfield and gets another 49er first down. That should be the end of the quarter. 16-yard pickup on the pass from Young to Kirby. At the end of one, there is no score. Every weekday morning. You could have a cup of what? I got it out one time. Decaf latte. But if you were going to drink latte, why would you drink decaf? <laughs> I'd rather have a jolt of Joe. <laughs> It'll jolt of Joe. Yeah. Young to Brent Young. Close to another 49er first down. William Thomas made the hit. And this is what the 49ers do so well. You know that 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 bootleg pass where they they fake one way and they, and then they're going to come out where you fake one way. Here's your tight end here. You fake the ball this way and then the quarterback bootlegs out here. He just runs it out. And you just hit them. If they drop off, you run the ball. If not, you see the position Steve Young is in right now. If they don't drop off, he just hits Brent, Young, uh, Brent Jones. If they drop off, he could just keep on running down there. And nobody does it better. 
No, that's that's the best thing the 49ers 